That's correct, yeah. So, uh, what about we? Like, we have sent um, in the Quran. So, uh, that's quite You guys have great questions. You know, the answer is in this course I call divine speech, but I'll tell you anyway. Okay, that's why I really like that course, because all of these questions, I collected them and I made a course out of them. Okay, but let me give you something about that. Uh, inshallah, this will take seven or eight minutes, but I think you'll appreciate it. Okay. Why is we used for Allah in the Quran? That's the question. First of all, let's begin with history. Uh, the Torah, the Hebrew Bible, that is still somewhat preserved with all of its editings, uses we for God in the Quran, we're not the only one. And I'm not talking about the Christians, I'm talking about the Jews. Do Jews believe God has a son? No. They don't. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Uzair ibn Allah is a very small fraction of Jews. The Arab fraction of Jews. The vast majority of Jews do not believe Uzair is the son of Allah. They do not. I, I talk to rabbis. I hang out with them. I debate Ibrahim alayhi salam with them. I know. Okay. Jewish scholarship, most of it does not acknowledge Uzair as the son of Allah at all. One fraction of it did, the fraction that lived in Arabia. Okay. But the Jewish tradition is much bigger than what was in Arabia. So Allah refers to some Jews who said that. Not all Jews who said that. Okay. So Christians specifically say God has a son, yes? But the Jews overwhelmingly say God does not have a son. But even they have what for, for God in their book? We. And I asked the rabbi, why do you have we? And he said, well, of course, God is royal. He's the king. And kings speak with the plural. Actually, not only kings speak in the plural, even presidents today speak in the plural. My, our president in the United States speaks in the plural. We in this administration have made blah, 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 blah. We won this election. We have made a... Here's one guy, man. You, you and all your shayateen or what? What's, what's, the, what's the we for? But we is used for what? We is used for the, the collective. Now, next thing. This is important now. In the Quran, you will find diff different kinds of pronouns used for Allah. And to understand this problem logically, First, you have to understand what, is a, what are the different kinds of pronouns. There is third person, second person, and first person. Third person means he and she and they. I'll make you remember this because I'm not talking to myself. What is third person? He and she and they. Second person is you. Second person is you. What's first person? I and we. What was third person again? He, she, and they. And the second person is you. And the third per first person is what? I and we. Now in the Arabic language, there are six kinds of you. Anta, antuma, antum, anti, antun. There's like, you know, antuma is twice. So it's six kinds of you. You, both of you, all of you. You lady, both of you ladies, all you ladies. There's six yous. Okay, now. When in the third person, Allah uses he. Yes? In the second person, Allah uses anta, which is the singular you. Does Allah use they for himself? They? No. Does Allah use all of you for himself? No. He uses the singular third person, the singular second person. The only time he uses the plural is in which person? First person. And in first person you find ana and you find nahnu. Now, if this was actually plural, you should find it in the first person, you should also find it in the second person, and you should also find it in the third person. But do you? No, you only find it in the first person, which means it's not literally plural. If it was literally plural, it would be all three persons. That's our first step to the answer. You, you with me so far? Okay? Because otherwise you would have found hum and antum and nahnu. It's not the case. That's just not the case. Now, the second issue. Nahnu is used, uh, let, let's talk about how Allah uses these persons. When Allah is being formal, <coughs> policies, or Allah is distancing Himself from a group of people, you will find the word He, Huwa, in the Quran. 
Why? Because the third person is the most distant pronoun. He's over there. He's over there. The he is used when it, there's a tab'eed. Okay, in Balagha, there's tab'eed. When, you, when he distances himself, he uses he. Now we know where he's used. Where does he use anta? He uses anta when the slave of Allah talks to Allah. Anta maulana fansurna ala al kafirin. Okay? Innaka anta tawabur rahim. When the slave talks to Allah, he becomes close to Allah. So he doesn't say huwa, he says anta. He talks to Allah. So Allah gives us the opportunity to address him using anta. Then what's left? Ana and nahnu. I and we. I and we. Let me start with I. Because the question is, he should have always used I. Let me tell you, there's a king. Walillahi al-mathal al-a'la. I just want to get a point across. There's a king. Or there's a president. We have made certain policies. We have decided, da 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 da. And somebody starts talking during his speech. And he says, Excuse me, I'm talking. He doesn't say, Excuse me, we are talking. He says, excuse me, even though the rest of his speech was what? We, 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 we. And when he got angry, he did what? I. Okay, same president's talking. We made these policies. We sanctioned this. We provided this. And his baby walks by. Hey, come here, I love you. Everything was we, but what happened? I gets used when there's extreme case of love or extreme case of? Study the Qur'an, look for I. You'll find extreme love or extreme anger. You'll find tawbah. Ana tawabur rahim. Ana tawbah is an extreme act of Allah's love. You'll find fa inni u'adhibuhu adhaban la u'adhibuhu ahadam min al-alameen. I will torture him with a torture that I will never torture anybody ever with. That, what is that? That's anger. That's anger. Okay? Allah Azza wa Jal talks to Iblis. You refuse sajda? إِذْ أَمَرْنَاكَ أَوْ إِذْ أَمَرْتُكْ أَمَرْتُكْ I commanded you. That shows the anger of Allah. Get it? So actually, Alhamdulillah, Allah does not use ana all the time. So we can know which places are extremely special. Like in Ramadan, your dua being answered, لم يقل سبحانه وتعالى نجيب دعوة الداعي قال أجيب دعوة الداعي إذا دعان فإني قريب لم يقل إننا قريب إني قريب أجيب دعوة الداعي إذا دعان دعاني فليستجيبوا لنا لا فليستجيبوا لي وليؤمنوا بي لعلهم يشدوا كل هذا في المتكلم والمفرد all singular, singular person first person all for love because Ramadan is a special love from Allah سبحانه وتعالى now, what's left? The question, the problem word, which is what? <laughs> Nahnu. Nahnu is used when Allah speaks in the role of a king, in the role of majesty. And when a king, especially when a king passes big policies or when a king gives you a lot of gifts, then he demonstrates his royalty. So you will find more overwhelmingly, when Allah talks about revelation of Quran, which is a great gift to humanity, you'll find Nahnu. Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafidhoon Okay? Anzalna alayka al-ma anzalna alayka al-kitaba li tashqa Okay? Anzala is used in cases where Allah demonstrates His majesty But with Bani Israel, He was really angry Because they should have accepted the Qur'an So He says, wa aminu bima anzaltu Musaddiqan lima ma'akum Believe in what I sent down don't be the first to disbelieve. He wants I when he's extremely angry again. Nahnu for his majesty. Then Nahnu for when he sends water. You'll find Allah will be talking about He created the tree. He did this, He did this, and we sent water from the sky. He'll switch over to we because water is a special majesty from Allah. So you see, whenever water comes up, most of the time it switches over to we to demonstrate Allah's majesty. It's awesome. Which is so awesome. Here's the last part of this question. We, one of the, actually the most important concept in the book of Allah is the oneness of Allah. لَيْسَكَ مِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا هُوَ الْوَاحِدْ الْأَحَدْ 
Lam Yalid, Walam Yula. This this is the concept of Islam. This is the concept of Islam. So then how does Allah protect this concept even though the word Nahnu is there? At the end of all of our explanation, Nahnu is still plural, isn't it? Still plural. So how does he protect Tawheed after using Nahnu? Study Nahnu, we for Allah in the entire Quran, you will find something. Right before or right after, he will make sure that you learn that he is just one. Every time. Inna a'tayna kal kawthar. We gave you kawthar. Who gave you kawthar? We. The next ayah. Pray to us. No. Fasalli li rabbik. Let me call fasalli lana. Okay. So that you never forget that we is about one. So he switches immediately. Every time. Every time. Inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr. We sent it down in laylatul qadr. Yes. Tanazzalu al-malaika Finish the ayah Tanazzalu al-malaika tu Aha Bi-idhni Bi-idhni na Bi-idhni Rab Okay now it's clear It's just one Rab Get it? So ye, this, this is an amazing phenomenon in the Quran The transitions of pronouns in the Quran It's a remarkable study This is absolutely remarkable study